Right, just wait till you get off house arrest. He's not gonna be able to go outside though. Right. First day out, shot a music video on the block. Another excuse. Oh yeah, but he's with mass security. When does it stop? I think we're going, yeah. Here we are, yeah. Ah. I guess. Yo, how you feeling? Chilling. Chilling? Chilling. I'm tired. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to fucking, um just understand this industry. You know what I'm saying? You, you figure think you figure anything out? Cause this last weekend you dropped your album. Yeah. You've been crazy with that? Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Fucking um Tattletales came out uh Friday. Um and just trying to, you know, trying to beat the industry once again. Yeah, no, okay. I know. I saw you a little frustrated. And yeah, frustrated. Frustrated. What, what, so what's happening? You're basically like shadow banned and... Nah, all right. So basically, if you open up your phone, if you open up your phone and go into like Apple Music, right? I'm going to do, do it right now. Do it right now so, so we could get it from <clears throat> two angles, right? All right. If you open up Apple Music right now, you go to top browse, what do you, what's the first thing you see? I'm going to tell you right Big now. Big Sean. Although. So that's Big Sean. Me and Big Sean, no problem with Big Sean. Big Sean just drops an album... Same day as as me, you know what I'm saying? Big Sean, uh, the very next thing you see, Oz Ozuna, Ozuna, right? you see Hardy, that? no no six nine on here. So you 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 just go to the biggest uh, things and you don't see no six nine. You go to new music, right? You supposed to see at least the album, at least give us that small thing. You don't see no six nine. Same with Spotify, you know what I'm saying? You don't see us on the major editorials, major DSPs. You don't see us there. So, so has it affected sales? Yeah, I mean, obviously. And then, like, out of nowhere, you fucking, uh, you know, you you discount bundles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it didn't. It wasn't a problem two weeks ago when Taylor Swift did 823, right? But just like, oh, no. Oh, so 6 9 Okay, the rules just changed. Was she bundled when she did that? Yeah, yeah, they, and they, you, they bundled. Because I saw I, some I, early estimates. Yeah. That it looked like you were going to do 150 first week. Yeah. And then they said, oh, no, let's disqualify the, the Down bundles. To, right, yeah. Right. Oh, 6 9 drop. Oh, yeah, you know, the rules changed effectively now. You know what I'm saying? What, what did you bundle? Uh, clothing, uh, clothing, yeah? No, yeah, we bundled the, the merch, which okay. uh, everyone does. Taylor, Travis. Sure, but I thought it post, was. I thought you know that wasn't saying? going into effect till like, October 1st. Yeah, that's what I thought. So now they just, oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's different. It's different now. But they didn't even put you on the homepage? They didn't put us... So, like, again, like, shouts to Big Sean. Everywhere you look, it's Big Sean, Big Sean, Big Sean, Big Detroit, Sean, Big Sean, Big Sean, Big Sean, Big Sean, Big Sean. Which is okay, but at least make it fair. It's like basically saying... It's like basically putting... <clears throat> it's like, all right, your brother, right, fights Nate Robinson in, in a few weeks yeah, or, yeah, or in yeah. a couple months, right? Yeah. And... They put handcuffs on 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 Jake and say, "Oh, go fight." Mm. It's, that's literally what they're doing, <laughs> saying, "Let me handcuff you and go win a boxing match." Did you didn't you know the uh, the bundling was going to be an issue? Because I thought we talked about it last week. Did you did you know that that was going to be a problem, or or you you thought it might be a problem earlier or some shit? Because I think you mentioned last week. No, when yeah, we first I talked mean, to you. I mean, yeah, but it. Like even Logan knows it doesn't come into effect until October first. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. What is it? September one. Uh, and you don't, you don't understand. I'm a YouTuber. Like I'm not even in the music no, yeah, industry. Yeah. And I, I even heard. And you I even, even heard knew that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah which oh, like, I thought it was. All right, put it like this: Drake, Drake just released something with Nike, and bundled that up. Mm. So what's gonna be the excuse when Drake drops next month? You think they'll do it to him too, or no? No. Wait, I got mm. a question though. Okay, so are mm. are you surprised? No, I'm just mad because at this point it's like. Can I win? Like, you know what I'm saying? Can I Can I at least have a fair fight? Put it like this. Pull up Big Sean's numbers. You guys got computers got on... Uh, He's pulling it up. I got it. On uh, Spotify. I don't know the numbers. I could be wrong. But what's the major single on Big Sean's album? I think it's the one with Nipsey, yeah? But uh, how many streams per, does that have? Is it the one with Nipsey? Or, or no, the one with Post. He got one with Post on it. Let's oh, yeah. Check, let's check the streams. Yeah. Is it this one? Detroit 2? Yeah, Detroit 2. It's kind of... Okay. And what's the... What's the uh, what did what he like, leave with? Like where it says the deeper number, rever like, reverence with this one, yeah. But I mean, there's no numbers. Yeah, I don't think you can see numbers say, yet. I, I think on the computer last time I checked, you can see how many stream, like how many plays it has. So you obviously outstream the fuck out of them, right? What do you think is the biggest song? That Post Malone record, or, the Post or, 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 or Gooba? Gooba has over 200 million streams. They're not even counting it, right? So it's like, oh, how, how can we cheat six nine out of a number one? Why, why, why are why are they doing this? You I had some shit to them. say about Billboard. Yeah, because I exposed them. Right. Remember, listen, 
Remember the whole thing with the Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande? I remember, yeah, yeah. And I came home. That week, what was the biggest thing you you couldn't open up your phone without seeing Takashi Six Nine? You mm. couldn't. Right. You just, you couldn't. It wasn't possible. Like if I'm lying, correct me. That, that was that was that was right when you got out. When right? I first that was, got out and yeah. I came on with Gooba, yeah. could you possibly open up your phone without seeing this face? No, it was massive. It was massive. Yeah. How does not? How does that fucking record not get number one? <laughs> does do you think? All right, that, all right matter of yeah, fact, what was the bigger record, Gooba? Or when Tusi Slide released, it, it depends on what the metric is for success. Do you look at YouTube numbers and streams? No, streams, being the, streams, streams, so, streams. So if that's the biggest metric, then Gooba was did Gooba stream more than Tusi Slide? Yes, first week. So then, yes. so it just depends on what your metric is for success. So then, I, I'm Listen, just curious like, why we'd even be looking at the sales when we know the marketing genius that you are when it comes to YouTube and streaming. You know what I'm saying? So, like, why do you even give a fuck what the what the record sales are? And and more importantly. Already, the people that you don't fuck with or that don't fuck with you have shit to say today. I want to know what you want to. I want to know what you want to say to Trippy and Blueface. No, because, and Blueface. Because, because as an artist, first of all, Blueface sells twelve k, fifteen thousand records. With, first week. With, no, no, twelve k. Like this is like a little boy to me. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. Trippy's album is. We're signed to the same label. They're holding off his album because he doesn't have a single and he sucks. Like literally sucks. <laughs> like this kid sucks. What was the last record Trippy put out? But Topanga. I like the Topanga song. Topanga. I'm, not, was, I'm not gonna lie. I, I've never that heard was it. before I went to jail. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was before I That's went to jail. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. gave me a record wow, that dude. released in 2018. Right. And I like Topanga. It's a, a, that's the one song. song. <laughs> that's the one song, song that I fuck with. It's I'm a fucking love. At the end of the day, you're giving me a, the last hottest record that Trippy released was in fucking 2018. Mm. The last <laughs> hot record Takashi put out, it was this year. So at the end of the day, you can't. I don't have nothing to say to Trippy Red, who were signed to the same label, and I know the label head is telling him you can't put your because you're not hot. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. This is a tough combo. I, and then Blueface, who <laughs> literally what was the last <laughs> record Blueface put out? I never, I never I, fucked with I, any I, of his music, yeah, bro. I'm not either. gonna lie. Okay. He, he made a he made a career off rhyming off beat. I never, I never understood right. that. Well, well, listen, I have nothing to say to those two clowns, yeah. like at all. Yeah. So when he when Trippy makes his video on, on Instagram today and he's just laughing at you, does it affect you? No, it's just the fact that he thinks he has something, mm. and I won't address him because he's such a fucking nuisance to society. It's like you're 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 literally um, a flop, right? There was this video of Trippy Red back in 2017, 2018. He's like, um, I have more money than you. I have more clout than you. I have more fans than you. I have uh, you know better songs than you. More followers. Literally. A week or two after making that video, tables turned like that. Mm -hmm. So I have nothing to say for somebody who I blew past and literally like the label doesn't give a fuck about Trippy Red. Not one shit. Like they don't give a fuck about this kid. He sucks. Like when I say suck, he sucks. Like <laughs> like how bad? Yeah, no, like like bad. Like, like what bad. about what about Dirk? What do you got what do you think about, you know, Dirk tweeted about it? A little earlier earlier today. All right, so I'm projected to do 40 to 50K canceling and all the blackballing, right? Yeah. He said he's going to smoke passive. Easy. You I'll smoke gonna... Nooski. Like, that's what I'm smoking. You know what I'm trying to say? Put it like this. Look. If, 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 if fucking... All right, put it Dirk, right? And be honest with me. We're all here. Let's not lie to each other, right? Because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm in punching distance. Can I swing? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, look. I'm, and my hand is broken, so I'm not going to swing that on you. Look. Oh, here you go. Dirk. What is that, a fish? I don't know. Some hand. <laughs> is there a fish? Dan, Danny, did you put oh, a fish it's in the, there? It's the, re, it's the reflection you of the You didn't put bear. a fish in the water? Oh, I, no I, I just saw a fish. I'm like, yo, you give me fish water. <laughs> can, can you imagine? <laughs> can you fucking imagine? My assistant puts a fish in his water. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? You like the fish? fish? <laughs> All right, so look. You're going to ask us what our favorite Dirk song is. No, I'm not going to ask you what your favorite Dirk song is. Because I, I don't have an answer. No, 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 no. I'm not going to ask you your favorite Dirk song. But be honest with me and be completely honest. When Dirk released his last album, did the whole industry post it? Hell no. No, Hell no. It, no, I no, yes, they did. Meek, they were oh, like, oh, they were oh. like, shut oh, off. Meek talked yeah, about no, it. They, a lot. No, they were like, shut off Gooba. Yeah. Put that Durky on, right? right? Then you had Future post it. You had Young Thug post it. Mm -hmm. You had everybody in the industry fall back this Dirk album back to the streets too, or just because they waited to some shit like that. And it's so 45k. So at this point, when I'm doing those numbers being blackballed. Mm -hmm. You're a little kid. Like, I, I don't compete with these people. Like, like yo, bro, 
Dirk got this song with Drake and thinks he's like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like this kid. Like he leveled like, up. Mm-mm. Yeah, like he like like he's like, like this is still a, a I feel like he's a, still a Chicago drill rapper. That's 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 the level I put him on. Like some FBG duck type of nigga. Like you right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. That's the level I put him on. There's a there's a lot of up and coming artists who get uh, backed by a lot of bigger artists that haven't haven't caught traction. There's a lot. Yeah, like. Like like every person Drake gets on the song with, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. No, yeah, yeah. like look at Block Boy JB. What is that kid doing right now? Probably playing Warzone. And that's great game, great no, game, no, no, great by the game, way. Great game. Do you play? I play. Do you play what kind yeah, yeah, of nah. That's how I gained all this weight. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking um, Yo, bro, like this artist that Drake helps, you know what I'm saying? Like look at the Meek situation when fucking Meek was beefing with Drake. Career over, yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then fucking he apologized to Drake, sucked Drake's dick and balls, everything, and then, boom, career again. Why? Because you need those relationships. Mm. One thing they hate about Takashi Six Nine, he doesn't need those relationships. He's gonna go number one. He's gonna top Billboard. He's gonna go platinum. But there are still some people that you respect enough not to beef with, because you've been pretty clear that you don't, you don't, you don't want to beef with Drake. And no, that, like, right, you know what I'm saying? Like right, this kid right. is a fucking god. Okay. So, like how long Drake's been in the game? 15, 15 years yeah. 15 like years yeah. 15 years this guy has established mm-hmm. himself as a goat yeah right like you know when 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 you know there's levels to shit there's levels to shit you think he's the goat the, oh, name somebody stopping Drake I, I, I agree with you yeah I, like he's a walking legend right he's, he's right the goat. is he, he's is he's he the goat. A inspiration for you in any way like who do you who do you take as inspiration for your for your music or well, for your well, personal obviously I want to be like 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 I, I wish I can um one day be as great as Drake, but I don't really look up to nobody because nobody does the things that I do. Like I'm very truthful. I'm very aware of my attitude, my my like the way I am, everything. Like everything about me is very truthful. Like very It's also unique. Yeah, like it's it's unique. No one no one's ever seen an artist like you. Like yeah. you you got the you got the pizzazz, you got the slaps, and then yeah. more moreover, you have the personality and insane marketing yeah. uh mind that you have. Cause, yeah. Cause a lot of the shit that you do, it's 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 you hype the shit out of it. You you, you uh yeah, you do I a can't lot of hype the shit out of it and then it fucking do 40 do dirty on numbers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking crazy. Like the the, the fucking Does it industry affect is you when yes, you're writing mentally, music. No, mentally it fucks me up. Because it goes like, all right, going back to your brother, it's mm. fighting with handcuffs on. You know what I'm trying mm-hmm, to say? Mm-hmm. Basically, it's like putting all your fucking energy into a body of work. For them to fuck you, but but do you feel like do you feel like you're being fucked because you've poked the beast for too long? Like I've always been, I've always been surprised that you were so uh, uh, apt to go after the platforms that are pushing your music. Like even even if I'm having fucking problems with YouTube or anywhere that I post, I no, I, tend, I, I try not to no. bite the hand. Yeah, that of feeds course, me, you of know course, of course, of course. But they don't feed me. You know what I'm trying to say? No, let me tell you this, right? And I'm going to make this very simple and very clear, right? And you follow me. If I'm wrong, say, yo, Danny, you're full of shit. Back in 2018, DSPs, Spotify, mm-hmm. Apple, they cancel out XXX Tentacion. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Am I wrong? No, I remember. They cancel out XXX Tentacion because he did something with women, right? Yeah. Where they, the they feel like pitchfork, yeah. all this shit, yeah. released this nasty story saying they're abusive women. Yeah, yeah. XXX Sensacion was such a fucking force where if you took off took off XXX Tentacion's music off of DSPs, mm. his fans went ape shit. You can't take an XXX off and not take an R. Kelly off. You can't take an R. Kelly off and not take a Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson off. Yeah. You can't take a Michael Jackson off and not take a Tupac Shakur off. Uh, why Tupac? Remember, Tupac was convicted of rape yeah. in 1994 yeah. or some shit uh, like that. Right. So who, who so, picks so, and so, chooses? So, yeah. No, I it's, feel it's, you. It's, so, it's, a, it's a culture thing. So basically, thing. It's a culture everybody thing. got together and said, you can't do this. Right. Hmm. You can't single one out. Yeah. Going back to me. Now, I'm not biting the hand that feeds me. I need fair play. We see, we see the what's same... The, what's the, the, the what's problem the, but is... No, but what's the point of having a First Amendment right, right? Which is freedom of speech to say, listen, please don't cheat me. 
Oh, you're out on us? You're calling us cheaters? Yes! When Wait, but that, yeah, but that's that's a problem. That, the First Amendment was obviously for the United States of America. When, yeah. you, when you get into a private, private establishment, industry, a yeah. platform that they can do, they can literally do whatever the fuck they want. They shouldn't wanted. be able to, but we, we see the same thing. That's we illegal. see the same thing with YouTube. We see the same thing with YouTube. It, it, you, you, you went and did some, uh, collabed with the Nelk Boys the other day, yeah. right? The Nelk Boys. Dope kids. Great, great kids. Yeah. I love Kyle, Jesse, Steve, yeah, all those dope guys. Kids, yeah. They are... Steve especially blackballed by YouTube. They put a video out, it doesn't show up what, in notifications. Steve will do it doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, Steve will do it. Nobody, you can't find his video. I wonder he, why. He you gotta go on his channel and you gotta search that shit out to find it. And so we deal with this with that same kind of shit. And it brings up this question of who makes the decisions when it comes to censorship on private platforms. And that's what you're talking about right now. And it sounds like you're being censored by private by private platforms. And they would argue that they have the right to do so. You know what I'm saying? And that that's not in breach of First Amendment, your First Amendment right. Now, listen, my thing is I love being fair, right? And I could be wrong. And I'll be, I'll, I'll be held fully accountable for, like you would say, biting the hand that feeds. But when I mm -hmm. see completely, and it's abusive, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. mentally, because it's like, okay, we see this kid get so many streams and people who love his music... But we just don't like his attitude or we don't like the force of nature that he brings to this platform. Well, you're polarizing as fuck. Polarizing as fuck, but it goes to a point where it's like, imagine if I had the machine. Imagine if I had the fucking uh, Apple Music. You could go on Apple Music and find me at the top. Why don't you do it, though? You know, you know what you're doing wrong. Yeah. Qu this is a question. You yeah. know what you're doing wrong. Yeah. At what point, and this is a question I had, and, and you know, and, and, and first of all, I want to say this before we go too much further. I've been horrible to you on this show. <laughs> I know you already fucking heard. Murph, you had to have fucking told him. No, to I, the, I, I didn't. Horrible. I, I swear to God, horrible. I had no as, idea. As the, only other person in this, as the only other person on this show who had the opportunity to snitch and, uh, against felony charges and, and didn't, I'm not saying you, you know, whatever. Yeah. You did your fucking thing. You did what you did. I've been outspoken. I've been a fucking asshole. I grew up on Jay, Big, all those guys. Okay. I'm older. I'm an old man. I'm the Charlemagne, the god of the fucking podcast. Okay, okay, okay. But I put this chain on today to try to get some relatability. It's fake. <laughs> this chain, I'm going to take it off right now. This chain's, this chain's fake. It ain't real. But I thought maybe it would allow us to connect. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But, but um, I'm sitting here because I want to give you a fair shake. You know what I'm saying? I hate judging people off what they did, and we could talk about that more. But my question for you is, if you know... Okay, you went through it, you did some shit, you, you had the whole scenario in court, you got out, you're back on the streets, you got another chance at it. Why don't you play the game right this time? Why don't you fuck with the because platforms this time and walk the line and get... It you know takes away from who I am, right? It takes away from me being me. Uh, imagine, be me imagine me sucking dick. Right? I don't mean that. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Wait, gonna, give me I'm a moment. Gonna, give me a I'm moment. Do don't do it. Don't give do me it. a moment. No, but imagine That's me, weird, man. No, no. Imagine <laughs> me just literally getting down and just saying, you know what? I'm going to do what you want me to do. Right. Then I will make me into a fucking flop like Trippy Red. Right? <laughs> no, for real. What do you want me to do? Oh, okay. No, no. I won't, I won't fight for what's right. I'm just going to lay down and let you fucking... S bitch me around because at this point I feel like my fan base is f like kids that literally are like yo I had this kid come up to me I'm not gonna say his name but this kid came up to me and said yo how do you deal with it and I said deal with what like you know what I'm just saying was like all oh, the hate it was like I don't think people hate me you know what I'm just saying what are you talking about right. but he's like yo no for real like how how do you deal with it I'm just like, what are you going through? You know what I'm saying? And he's like telling me like, yo, people are just, you know, leaving nasty comments under my page, doing this, that, and the third. And, you know, um, I don't know what to do, whether to address the situation or do this. I said, listen, you know what's right. You know what I'm trying to say? I can't tell you how to handle a situation that I'm not in, right? But for me, when people call me a snitch, call me whatever they want, a pedophile, uh, fucking uh, bitch ass nigga, whatever they want to call I own the shit. You know what I'm trying to say? Because mm -hmm. I know me. You know what I'm trying to say? I know what I've done, right? I know what I didn't do. And I just say, yo, listen, whatever you guys are going to do, you guys are going to continue to hate. I can literally prove you wrong. I can prove you wrong. I can prove you wrong. When I walk out of here, you're going to still be like, kid's a bitch. <laughs> Why? I don't, no, 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 I don't no, think no, anybody no, will no, 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 say no, that but, 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 but this goes to the, like, the, the general public. Right. I can't please everybody. Yeah, yeah. I can't sit here and be like, yo, Logan, please like me. Hmm. 
if we bond, we bond. If we catch a vibe, we catch a vibe. If a fan is watching my music, watching this uh, uh, podcast, watching this, if you like me, you like me. My job is not here to convince you to like me. So I will never, and the answer to your question, I will never, I, I never had in my mind to come home and say, you know what, let me just be an industry plant. Let me come home and say, you know what, let me work with these people because I know my, like, we sat down with a couple executives, right? And we said, can anybody top the top 10 on Billboard with no radio and no playlisting? They said, impossible. <clears throat> I've done it. Yeah. Imagine if I just sit down, lay down, and do the things that it wouldn't make me Takashi Six Nine. It wouldn't make me me. But what about optimizing? You know what you do behind the scenes. It's not going to change anybody else's. You know anybody else's thoughts on you or your appearance to the outer world. But like, you know, you know the saying: um, you catch more flies with honey than you do with salt. Yeah, is that think, fucking right. Is that right? I think. Is that? Does anyone know? I think you just do made the, that do up. Do the two masked bodyguards in the? Do you know that saying? You guys no, know? They're not even... No. Not even they, they shook, you catch more, you the catch more flies with honey. Ones. Like, okay, so if you're nice to people and you build... I've done this with him a lot. We have a, we had a lot of beefs when I joined this team, right? And I always told him, yo, if we rebuild relationships, it's going to get us a lot farther than continuing to burn bridges. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what stops you from, from fixing shit behind the scenes with the record labels, with 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 the with Billboard, with Apple, with all those people, and then you could still have the same fuck you mentality, but not against the people that could put more money in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? No, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like to be honest, I feel like um, to be completely truthful, I feel like the, the people they put in charge feel like they are like John Gotti. You know what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say? I feel like these guys would be fucking uh, like. You see the 47 years I was holding over my head? They would have did those 47 years fucking with their fucking chest out. Like, these, that's how they act. You know what I'm saying? They act like, yo, if I was in that situation, I would have did the 47 years. Yeah. Those are the people controlling the ESPs. Fucking retards. You know what I'm trying to say? Right, right, right. Idiots. Right. right. But at the end of the day, it goes to show that, again, I'm not here to please anyone. I'm here to make good music, Right? Is cater to my cater to my fans, right. right? And just live life, bro. Like I'm not here to fucking be fake. I, how long you live? Guys lived in California, Hollywood, LA area. Six, seven I've years. I've been in LA too long. I've been, <laughs> seven, I'm not gonna lie. Bad. I've been in LA probably before, like my first time coming here, and I seen the most fakest shit in the fucking world. Like the fakest people. Like I mean, like it's Hollywood. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? Nothing and that is, shit gets on you sometimes. And it gets on you, and I can never allow myself to do that. You know what I'm just saying? Like, put it like this. There's so many people in this world that will be like, I would have done this. I would have done that. I would have done this. I would have done that. But when they get put in a situation, it's a whole different story. It's called, you, you, yeah. say, you say this all the time. Armchair generals, armchair quarterbacks. Everybody calls shots about what they would do, what they do. Well, if I was in that situation, I'd do this, I'd do that. But everything changes when you're standing in front of the fucking judge or yeah. when you're sitting with the interrogator. It's not only that. It's not only that, right? Let me put this in perspective and really follow me here. Imagine I would have stood tall, right? Kept it real. Did the 47 years right now. Right? Well, you wouldn't be on the podcast, that's for sure. Yeah, and that's, that's what right. I'm trying to get to. Who would, who would, who would be here right now? <sighs> Charlie Rocket, yeah. Ben Shapiro. I, I don't know. Yeah, probably, probably, uh, Alex Jones. Really it might have gone worse no, for no, us, no, said, to be no. honest. And think, and think about it. Right now, during those 47 years that I would have been serving, I'm not even, I'm 24. I haven't even lived 47 years of my life. Right. If I would have been serving those 47 years right now, already three years, two, two years going on three years inside of prison, you guys would move on with your life. Right now, another guy would have been in this chair. You wouldn't even bring me up because I would have been not relevant at, the, uh, at this time. You're not checking on my mom. You're not paying nothing for my daughter. You're not doing anything for me. You're not even wondering if I'm calling somebody or not. No, hold on. Get, let, me, let me finish. You're going to go get a bottle of liquor after this. You're going to go sleep with somebody. You're going to do this while I'm doing those 47 years. Right, right, right. Right? Mm -hmm. So don't tell me what I've chose to do in my life. Because if I, cho if I did what people say, oh, you should have did. You guys move on with your life. I throw my whole life away to, to, to please you, to please you, to please them. I'm going to throw my whole life away, throw millions of dollars away 
So you could fuck bitches, get money, party, and me ride away in a prison. What about, what do you say to the people that, that would say that you should have thought about that stuff before you got tangled up with the people that you did or before you utilized that messaging to drive you to the top of the, of the industry? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you say to those people? I tell them people suck my dick mm -hmm. because those people don't know what I've been through. You know what I'm trying to say? When I first met, <sighs> when I first met the gang, right? There was no ill intention, no bad intention. No ill will. My goal was never to say, yo, you know what? I'm going to use these dudes. It just so happened it clicked. Gummo took off. Right? We see the success of Gummo. We said, let's repeat it. Let's do Kuda now. Yep. Right? I had no intentions of sleeping with their girl. I had no intention of kidnapping them. I had no intention of stealing money from them. I had no intention of harming them. Right? Mm. So let me ask you a question. I, in the street world, right? What's, what's the codes of the street? Loyalty, honor, integrity, morals, principles, standing tall on what you believe on, and no snitching, right? Right. Where was the loyalty to me? I was going to say, just like that, no, no, li that no. list alone seems so counterintuitive. It's so, it's, it's so yeah, contradicting. Yeah, because, yeah, of course because, it is. because look, before I even got locked up, they were sleeping with my girl. So right now, I don't know what situation between you guys. You have a girl. That's your friend. Hmm. Would you sleep with his girl? Hell no. But why not? Would. But you, why? You no. no, of course no, not. No, no. But, but nah, why? You no, don't think she's hot? No, but, no, but why not? <laughs> she's here too. Because lo Loyalty. Loyalty. loyalty, fuck yeah, yeah! But if we're street dudes, do you do that? No, I so don't. so so put it like this: <laughs> you know what you signed up for, right? Right. Also, my excuse is like, but you knew what you were signing up for. You knew what you were signing up for. You knew that could happen. That doesn't happen, right? Because in the street, it's brotherly. That don't happen. People make excuses, say, "Yo, I right, it's convenient for me to say, oh, but you know what you signed up for." But if that happened to you, be like, yo, bro, that ain't loyal, my nigga. Right. Yo, that ain't loyal. I think what I think what it was is there's people have different beliefs. If you look to the Bronx tale yeah. on what the code of the street is, keep your mouth shut, never tell on your friends. Yeah. Those are the only two rules. Yeah, yeah. And so I think I think that in the rap community and in the culture, the reason why people had so many issues with what happened with you is because that was the cardinal fucking sin, at least according to the culture. I'm not, yeah. and I'm not speaking for that. I'm not yeah. saying you did it like did wrong. I'm not going to say any of that shit today because I wasn't in your position. I wasn't yo, facing yo, so 50 years. Let me ask you something. But is that rule, is that rule more important let than me the ask others? Let me ask you something. Say I'm a crip, right? I'm a crip. Just hypothetically speaking, say I'm a crip. Okay. I bang that gang life, right? Yeah. You tell me, and everybody in this room, if you guys, no, if I'm a crip, And I say, yo, listen. I know what happened. My cousin got locked up for a murder. He didn't do it. The guy in the red shirt did it. He shouldn't be locked up for a something that he did. The guy with the red shirt and the red cap. I'm a street dude. I'm a crip. My cousin didn't do that. It was the guy with the red shirt. They got the wrong guy. You you just incriminated another man. Right. Is that snitching? Well, the street the streets would say you shouldn't be saying shit to the cops. You what, shouldn't be what, saying what, shit. What would you say? My honest opinion is, you're from the street. You, it's, you, you you listen. You leave in the street. Yeah. I'm not giving no information to incriminate another man. <laughs> It's a You're tough asking. spot because if I'm living there, that puts my life in jeopardy. But you, you came up. You have bigger things. No, no. Things but I'm, on ask, your plate. I'm asking you: Is that snitching? It's a yes or a no. I, I go with my blood. That's my. That's my. That's my brother. That's my cousin. I'm gonna. Even if it jeopardizes my life, I'm but gonna why reach would it, out. But let me ask you something. And I love that you said that. Why would it jeopardize your life? Because I'm snitching. Snitching. Exactly. So you just answered it. Why would your life be in jeopardy? Because you just snitch. Yeah. Is that snitching? Yes or no?
He's asking tough questions. No, I'm asking, is that, <laughs> is that snitching? <laughs> He's the host I, right now. No, no, He's I'm asking, I'm asking right is that snitching? <laughs> I mean, uh, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, it's my cousin in jail. Your cousin. And do I know red, red shirt, red hat guy? Yes, you know both of them. Oh, You're saying that's snitching. That's snitching. That's snitching. If it makes right. you, if it but, makes but, you feel but, better. But, but, but say I didn't know red shirt, red hat guy. That's still not snitching. Well, like, maybe, maybe fuck that guy for my cousin. I, I, okay, will, like, I will, I will like, say <laughs> one thing to make you feel better. Right over there. No, it's not make you feel better. It's the truth. It's facts. No, but you're gonna make what I say. Okay. No, no, but listen, if it's not snitching, I want to hear, yo, bro, I don't think that's snitching. And be honest. But like you said, if my life is going to be in danger, your life wait, shouldn't be in danger hold if you're on, not did, did red shirt, red hat guy do it? Did he, did he actually commit the murder? Just, we're speaking hypothetically. Oh, I thought like, I he's knew. He's just saying it wasn't my cousin, it was him. We, can we give this guy a name? Are we still doing he's the He's a analogy? visual learner. You gotta, you gotta really, <laughs> you gotta paint a picture I, 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 for him. You know what I'm saying? If, if, call him, call him, call him Tommy. 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 While you, while you guys ponder that, <laughs> my man right over there eating the bowl, fat guy right over there. He's not he, fat. He's not fat. He's trying to be buff. Uh, he told me he's like, yo, yo, if this goes down, will you, will you tell on me? And I straight up looked him in his eyes and I said, fuck yes, absolutely, you're out. That's my best friend. And the reason is, I built my whole life not just for me but for my family. So if he's going to do some dumb shit that's going to get me in trouble and my family in trouble, it's not just you you were thinking about. Mm. So I'm start. I kind of understand your point of view now. No, but I'm asking, is that snitching? The, the scenario I just gave you? Technically, yes. Yeah, yes. Technically, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. So why nobody holds Gunna accountable? Oh, you're bringing an per actual person into no, the no, fuck. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, God damn. Don't, 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 uh, nah, I'm in trouble. I like to know back out. Tommy back. No, no, no. no, 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 no fuck Gunner's Tommy. <laughs> it's Gunna. Gunna, the rapper, literally said, yo, my cousin didn't do it. It was the guy in the red shirt. You are not going to send my cousin to jail so for it, something you did. So, so wait, okay, there. okay. I hear you. Breathe, I hear you. Breathe. I, I hear you. Know, no, yeah, like, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. For what, 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 this, is called, this is called a whataboutism. And as you know, life isn't fair. Life isn't fucking fair. No, no. But that's especially, what I've been trying to explain. Especially not for you. But, especially but that's what I'm you, trying to explain. Listen, I don't give a fuck if I'm held accountable for what I did. Yes, yeah. I snitched. And I did it proudly. Right? But everybody who fucking snitches, everybody should be held accountable. Because you can't single someone out. Just like you couldn't single out XXX Tentacion. You had to single out Tupac Shakur. You couldn't single out Tupac Shakur and not mention Michael Jackson. You couldn't, and then not mention R. Kelly. You couldn't do that and then not mention Kodak Black. Here, here's my question for you, though, really quickly. Those people all did things they weren't proud of, and they came out of it, and R. Kelly didn't go and make a song like Golden Shower. Like, he didn't do that. So my question for you is, like, why do you come out, once again, a question... And instead of being like, yo, I did what I had to do for my family, I'm turning the page and moving on with my life, why is it an attempt to make snitching mainstream and cool instead? Because you know what I'm saying? It's one thing that you've never seen before, and that's why you're having a tough time. I'm trying, no, no, Danny. No, no. I'm fucking no, no. You're trying. Ha you're having a tough time. <laughs> I'm trying. You're having a tough time <laughs> registering it okay. because you've never seen it before. Something you've never seen before, you have a tough time saying, i never seen someone do that. Right. So it's, it's tough for you. It's like seeing a fucking... UFO right now crash into here. You're like, but why would you do that? Like, why would that happen? Right? Because you've never seen it before. But you don't know, listen, yeah. you never like R. Kelly, Golden Shower. You never <laughs> seen somebody come home and say, Yeah, I ratted. Why? Because people don't have the courage. Listen, I did that and I feel like it's completely justifiable. It's completely justifiable. But do you feel a lot, like a lot of a lot of people agree with you? A lot of uh, yes. people agree, especially your super fans. Yes. Uh was there a time I have to I have to ask, just like kind of like moving forward the conversation a yeah. little bit. Uh I have to ask, you're 24, you're young, you're like me. Uh we grew up obviously very different. <laughs> was there ever a time when you were because the things you got charged for, I'm what, what was it? It was uh it was so there's some drug trafficking stuff, there's armed robbery, there's mm -hmm. attempted murder. Allegedly, right? Or I'm not sure what happened. No, it happened. It happened. Uh, yeah, I was so, charged. So, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here to ask. When that was happening, did you ever, did you ever look around or like remove yourself from the situation when you were in the middle of the armed robbery, or whatever, and just go, "What the fuck am I doing? No, How did I end why, up here?" You know why I didn't have that out of body experience? Because I thought rap was real. I thought rap was real. When you grew up on the Tupacs, the Biggies, right? You're like, oh shit, these guys are legit gangsters. What rapper you know goes down for racketeering? Matter of fact, let's put this. Drake and Meek made a song, right? Called Rico? Yeah, of course. 
The only, the only. No, no, no. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Have you ever heard of uh, Drake going down for racketeering? No. Why? Because if, well, if, if he were ever to be in a situation like that or anything like that. Has Meek ever gone down for a racketeering? They probably got boys who would take the fall for it or, or oh. they're not the ones on the front lines, did which it, is why I'm asking. No, like, but why? No, let me ask you something and I'm going to answer your question. I thought rap was real. So when I was going down for the attempted murders on March 20th, the robbery on April 3rd, the shooting on April 21st, two shootings on April 21st, uh, the shooting on June 16th, all of those scenarios... Or, you know, sending shots, 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 nigga. Everything I was rapping about was really happening. Yeah. These rappers that rap about the shit that they rap about, they don't live. Well, some... So no. I grew up on Shine, okay. too. So Shine, for no, example. No, no, yeah, Shine. Shine shot no, a club up and did the, the time for era. it. Let's talk about the new era. Right. Right? Yeah. Let's talk about the Meek Mills. Murdered on my mind. How did shit go done? Um... When it come to murder, man, murder come to me. Uh, nah, nah, nah. So you think Meek's all cap? What did Meek go to jail for last time that he was crying for six months? What, what did he? Wasn't it like a probation violation for a gun for charge? A, it was for a bike trick. A bike trick. What he do? On he, probation, he, he right? Do, it was yes. a pri probation violation. Well, he popped a willy on a bike. Man, that's pretty badass, isn't that's, it? That's tight. Yeah, no, no, that's badass to be crying. <laughs> I'm flat. That's tight. It's, that's pretty badass. He cried for six months. Uh, justice, injustice. But you know what you signed up for? You knew you was on probation? When he did that wheelie. Oh, you didn't know? So why should I know what I signed up for? So you didn't? No, 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 no. You no, didn't? No, no, did no, you no. know? No, no, hold on, hold on. When you ask, when you tell me, right. you know what you signed up for when you got into it with the gang? You knew you was on probation for 10 years? Why your stupid ass popping willies? Is that against probation? I'm sorry. You no, it is. You, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like yeah. Yeah. Well, because he's in the street. Was he on a dirt bike? Yeah. Yeah. When you're on probation, you got to be really well. Well, no, he was doing it. In the, he was doing it in the street. It was like a. It was like you weren't supposed to be doing it in that space. You can't pop wheelies in the so middle of the thing, street in Philly thing, or listen, New York City and you, shit like if that. If you go to jail for popping a, a, a bike tricks, just say you go to jail for bike tricks, right? Bicycle tricks. Don't rap about murder. Because you're not about murder and you know you don't go slide. You have people who go do it for you. Well, do one well do one and one correlate exactly like just because he got popped for a bike trick doesn't mean he wasn't doing gang shit before that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe well, he just didn't get caught. That's what I'm saying. I, you I, you I, went I, on the I, front I, lines. I, I, you I, I, didn't have I, I, someone I, I, do it for let you. Me, let me ask you some. Logan, look me dead in my eyes and tell me you think Meek Mill has a murder under his. He doesn't. Mouth. He no, doesn't no, know. No, I don't. No, he doesn't. Fucking. I don't think he does. So let's not let's not talk like. Well, you don't know. We know. Well, well, well because this. Okay. Because say, every, say I'm Meek Mill, every, say every, I'm Meek Mill out, and I did have a, uh, I don't know, I, I got caught up in some shit, and I came across the fact that, you know, I murdered someone. Something tells me he wouldn't be the one to do it if if that was an inkling of a desire in his heart. So why, Logan, why look, again, why were you I, on the look, front lines? Because, that, like, again, that's crazy. To actually, I was on the front line for everything. To actually, to actually get in the Escalade. With yeah. your boys, yeah. armed, yeah. about to commit armed robbery. Yeah, because I at, was, tw at what, 22, yo, 23 look, years old? Yeah, look, at 20, at, in 2018, right? In 2018, how many rap beefs did I get into in 2018? All of them. There's not, but, there's but, not. But because I knew these rap, when I started rolling around with, with non Trey, I'm, I'm looking at these rappers and I'm face to face with them and I'm like, like, you're not really like that. And I'm looking at, like, like the YGs and the Meeks and the and the Chief Keeps and and I'm looking at them like, if I pull this card, let's see how far it gets. And I'm in 2018. I'm like, these guys aren't really like that. Mm. None of them. Nobody. Nobody in rap right now or in 2018, 2019, 2020 is about it. In 2018, we've done shot at every rap crew from rap a lot. To Chief Keef, to the West Coast shit. You talking about actually shot at? Yeah, like yeah. it was all racketeering charges. It all went yeah. down for everything. Just to, up in court. Yeah, just to clarify, yeah. Everything we rapped about, we done. But where does it? My question is like, where does it stop? Because now you're not even no, going. It stop. Now, no, it stop. No, but but listen, now you're not just going at rappers. You're going to O Block. You're going to the South Side. You're going to Chicago. Yeah. And now you're t now you're talking shit to entire cities. And, and listen. You know, as well as I fucking know, that they're not capping in Chicago. Well, how do you know that? I see the fucking news, Because bro. they kill each other. 
They kill people yeah. in Chicago, right? When was the last time they killed somebody from out of town? They kill each other. Like, all right, so we went to O Block, right? They put a gate around O Block because they're killing each other. They're trying to, yo, here, you guys are animals. Kill each other. There's a gate around O Block. You have to drive by a, 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 a police booth and be escorted in. And what makes you want to do that? What makes you want to go to O Block and, 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 and fuck with Dirk's? And you I'm know, a, cousin and, spot and shit like that. And like, I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah. When I was in jail, right? And if I'm lying, cut me off. When I was in jail, stop it. He, no, no. He, <laughs> he's not. He, he's not gonna have a career no more. How many times did you guys see? You guys probably spoke about it. Yo, six nine's done. He snitched. He's not gonna have a career no more. Uh, yeah. How many we times you seen everybody that? Said, everybody no, said no, that. no one said it. For certain, but we no, no. I said, I said this. I said this. No, no, I said no, if you got no, out, no, you... not here, not here. Uh -huh. On the news, on the media outlets, everybody said he was done. Everybody, yeah, yeah, He's yeah. Mom, so my look, mom so cuts look. hair. She oh, knew you, about that. Okay. So, so look, She's so like six nights done. So look, <laughs> I come home. I sell a million records. Go platinum first time. He's not gonna have a career no more. Comes out the biggest fucking artist in the fucking world. Two million views on live and goes platinum. Right? I don't think anyone expected you to to get out. Now look. No career comes out and is the biggest artist in the world. Excuse. Yeah, well, people just excited the hype. Yeah, yeah, like whatever, right? It's hype. He's not. He's not gonna go number one, right? <laughs> right. He ain't going number one. Right. Goes number one. Big bad. People. Big mad. sick. Yeah. Tight. Another excuse. Yeah, but it was because of Nikki. It was because of Nikki. Right? Yeah. All right, just wait till he get off house arrest. He's not going to be able to go outside, though. Right. First day out, shot a music video on the block. Another excuse. Oh, yeah, but he's with mass security. When does it stop? I thought you were about to bust out. I literally right proved there. not. Like, I literally sound like you're I, on your tracks right now, bro. I was like, record him, record him. Get out below. I literally proved everything that people say I couldn't do. Oh, he's not gonna be able to go to LA. Come to LA. Twice. Twice. Three times. <laughs> there we go. David, 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 David's so David's supportive. Your biggest fan. David's a fan. Your biggest oh, fan, bro. Straight up. Look, three times. I. He's not gonna be able to go to Chicago though. Well, they're gonna. You make you made that trip. You made that trip. You come to LA. You're on the. You're on the. You're on the move. Uh, are you afraid for your life? <laughs> yeah, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but sure, surely. Can we surely, swing, can we swing a, the camera around? There's a hint. Is that no? Nah, I mean, it's up to. You. All right, they already did it. The, uh, has the, you're never. You're never it, gonna man. see him. Yeah. yeah. Hands down. But you have. You ha there's. There's got to be. Now listen. Some thoughts. I'm not <laughs> stupid, right? <coughs> I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. Me and XXX was really close, right? XXX is walking around with fifty thousand dollars in a duffel bag. No security. No security. He tries to buy a bike, gets killed, right? He writes me June sixteenth, saying, uh, "Be safe, okay?" Question mark. Don't let your guard down. Next day, he dies, right? Every comment was where was his security, right? Pop Smoke, murdered in L.A. Every comment was where was his security. Mm -hmm. 6 9 has security. He's pussy. They weren't, they, weren't no, going no, to old, they weren't going to the places that you go to and saying the things you say, though. You know what I'm saying? Like that's I think that's why you get so and that brings me back right, to my so, question. Mm -hmm. And that brings me back to my question that I asked you, which was, yo, at what point do you try to just start to blend? I'm not saying to lay down. I'm not saying to suck dick. I'm not saying to grovel. I'm not saying to get on your fucking knees. But at what point do you start to create a life that feels safe for you to live beyond 26? Do you see your life going on <laughs> beyond 26 right now? Yes, of course. Hell yeah. Like I'm 24. Like I'm definitely making it 30. <laughs> 30? Is yeah, that it? Yeah. <laughs> At least. At but least. But I'm saying, At like, least. do, you, do yeah. you see life after, like... Yes. Hell yes. Like, I'm not even going to kid you not. Like, listen. What does that look like? Amazing. Hopefully. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? Right, right. Um, 
basically what you're saying to me is they weren't doing the things you were doing, Takashi, right? And they still ended up dead. So what difference does mm, it make? Mm. You literally just said X wasn't beefing with O Block. X wasn't beefing with West Coast. X wasn't beefing with that. So yeah. why is he dead? If you put me into a dangerous neighborhood and I got hit and I and there's a chance I could get hit with a stray bullet, right? I it, wouldn't. I no, wouldn't no, no, then no, no, go no. up You're to somebody wrong. and be You're like, wrong. "Yo, I could get hit by a stray bullet, so shit. let's duel." No, 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 no question. I, I'll call it I'm full not of, saying no, shit. No, no, I'm, I'm asking. I'll call it full of shit because you can't say straight bullet. That bullet was meant for him. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying why? Why push and that's your luck? His neighborhood. If you know X, he was from Broward yeah, County. Yeah, facts. He yeah. got killed in Fort Lauderdale, Broward yeah. County, yeah, right yeah. there. His hood. So don't say put me in a dangerous. That was his neighborhood. It's like putting me in Brooklyn before the snitching. I was outside every fucking single day. Yeah. No security. I was going to go buy sneakers going to the chicken spot by myself. Don't make excuses. It can happen to anyone. I'm just asking why push your luck. That's all, that's all I'm asking. But listen, because I have them. So you're saying I'm going to do me regardless to the T, to the dot. I'm going to have them to protect me with my decisions because I'd rather be alive being me 100,000% than... Nice, but depending it. on how long this goes... Because you're a master troller, and and I, I mean, I think we can all agree. I mean, sometimes you're trolling, you take it far as fuck. And, yeah, I mean, and at I what point I, are you jeopardizing your life? Because, you know, are they going to be with you forever? Are they going to be with you when you're 50, 55, 60? You got no, a family? No, but I, I, I hope by then I, I got my shit together. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> so when you... <laughs> so so it's, it's, on the, it's on the agenda. It's Everybody listen to the podcast. Like, all right, cool. <laughs> 14 years from now, <laughs> we're coming from. So what? Are you just on some shit right now? Is that what? fucking shit, okay, bro? Okay, okay. I get it because yo, I was, I was too. Okay. I was a drug. I wasn't like you, but I was a drug addict for a long fucking time. A drug addict. All right, so maybe he is one. I don't fucking know. So maybe, you, maybe me and you can relate. But I'm saying, for a long time, I was on some shit, and people said, "Yo, you can't do that shit. You can't do that shit. You can't do that shit." Until you listen, you're gonna do what the fuck you want. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. No, bro, I, I I hear you. Listen, I feel like like what you see is what you get with me. You know what I'm trying to say? And I feel like that's what makes me me. You know what I'm trying to say? I love just being me. I love just fucking um, not changing for anyone. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't want to change who I am because it wouldn't feel the same. It's like it's like all right, this is you guys' job, right? YouTube, whatever you guys do. Imagine when work starts feeling like work. It's not going to be fun anymore because it feels like work. My work feels like fun. You know what I'm trying to say? You get a thrill out of it. The fucking adrenaline rush. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? It's just <laughs> that shit. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? And I enjoy it. So you like playing with fire? It's just... You know, not literally, but yeah. <laughs> no, you, but you are. It's like I can't but say you that. Are, you know you are. You are. So what's the fire, Logan? It's every time you stoke someone in the game, or, or even even the platforms, anyone, artists, platforms, gangsters, whoever the fuck it is, when you stoke the fire, obviously there's a chance you get burned, and it might not happen now. It might not happen in a year from now. I guess I just ask because um, I, I I do see you attempting. I don't even know if it's an attempt to change your image or whatever you want to call it because you've been going out in the streets, right? You've been giving back. You've been giving money to, to people in the streets, saying what's up. Like you've been you've been. Uh, you, but you've I've been, been doing that. Yeah, so you, I saw, I seen that, and you've been with the people. So is this something? It's it's this weird, it's this weird balance between showing people that at heart you're a good guy, and also you know, like I said, poking the beast. Because you could you could you could pigeonhole yourself if you do it too too much, and maybe and especially with the album sales this week, like maybe it's happening. Maybe we're watching it, and if it's on the agenda to eventually be you know a standout model citizen. <laughs> Is that on the agenda? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Should we talk about music for a little bit? I feel like we've been talking about street shit and snitching for so fucking long. We all with music. I want to know about his assets. Oh, I want to know about, about your assets. Talk to me about your assets. <laughs> no, no, um, fucking right now, um, me and Murph uh, trying to buy a crib. Um, so I just got back from Create. Uh, I was thinking about moving out here. Um it's just the it's just the fact that uh, taxes are way high in New York. Like I just paid three million dollars in taxes. They're bad here too. They're way bad. Here. Yeah, they're bad, they're bad here, here too. Right? Oh no, no, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. They're like yeah. what? They're like forty percent, forty seven percent in New York. Like they take like like we just signed a thirteen million dollar deal with uh, 
uh, the, with 10K and um, like 47% of that goes to taxes. Yeah. So they've been f- fucking me in the ass. Like, with, like, it's not, it's not going to get better here. It's, no. Yeah. That's, uh, but like Florida. Um, have you ever thought about Texas? Texas, yeah, Texas. That's Texas. where Ro- that's where that Joe Rogan the, went. I mean, Murph, Mur- because I don't no, see no, you no, living no, in like no, Utah. No, no. Texas, like that. Texas, no, Utah's tax is is, is uh or is it Nevada? It's Nevada. Nevada. It's Nevada. It's only I can see you living in Nevada. No, it's four places. <laughs> no. You like to roll the dice oh, in he your fucks life with Vegas <laughs> no, for no, sure, it's, bro. It's, it's, it's four places. It's four places. It's um, um, like now that like I'm 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 getting older, um, we had this conversation where it's like Florida. Texas, mm. Nevada, and Washington. So where I'm trying to figure out like where to go. Where do you want to be? Because you're not going like, to. I want to be in New York. Dictate. I want to be in New York. But oh, obviously, me and Murph were talking about it. Like if you just get like a fucking condo in Florida and just fucking put your address there, fucking um, you know. Is New York your favorite place to be? New York is like home. Like yeah. you know, what I'm trying to say like I've been fucking renting houses just because I don't want to leave there, and it's just like. It's home. Like you, you ever been to New York? I'm yeah, from Connecticut, so I spent a lot of my life there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Connecticut is not New York. No, I know. I know. <laughs> Fuck, he called me. Yo, I, yeah, yo. I always told you. Yeah, yeah. I always told you. If you tell a New Yorker that you're kind of from New York because you're from Connecticut, they're going to yeah, fucking call yeah, you yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. He called me out. But but no, I spent a lot of time in New York. I love the fucking city. Okay, yeah. Like, New York is my home. Like, right? I know the ins and outs. I know the back streets. I know fucking everything about New York. So, my thing is um, just trying to... Uh, now settle down and I actually after this next album because I signed a two deal album with 10k mm. and um after that just you know buying a home and probably venturing off into something else you know what I'm trying to say um like I don't know I really love cinema so uh probably Movies. do like no like work on my own documentary because people are working on like my own documentary like Brian Fogel that won an Oscar right. and Ron How no no was this Ron 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 no is it Ron Howard it's, no 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 the actual guy Ron. Is That's Ron it? Howard working yeah. on something? From Showtime? Yeah. Yeah, Ron Howard from Showtime. So they're making a documentary. So after my albums, I'll probably just work on my own documentary. I thought we were talking about Emily's <laughs> dad. <laughs> And you got a you got a serious girl too. It seems like yeah, yeah, yeah she's right over there. Yeah. You could turn the camera. Around. What? This is what she wants. She's the star. Oh, hey, let's 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 camera let's show her some light. <laughs> What's nah? There she is. There she is. I, I love I, I love your guys' dynamic online. Like she'll she'll post a picture like talking shit to you. You'll yeah, comment yeah, on yeah, it talking yeah, shit yeah, back yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. We work on that. Nah. nah. <laughs> right, wait, wait. Hold she on. Said, hold on. She said he can't handle this last week or some <laughs> shit. He said I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> and we I can relate. I, to I that. saw a That's video funny, where you're bro. you're eating together and you're like, yo, let me taste that. It pissed me off because I knew you were doing it for the video because you had the same shit on your plate. <laughs> and I was like, yo, just fucking eat your plate. I'm just flexing now. <laughs> No, yeah, we get into shit like that, like you know what I'm trying to say, and um, it's just having fun with life, you know what I'm trying to say, just trying to after rap, like just settle down, like you know what I'm trying to say, and like work on like, like something like I like, I feel like my life is so crazy, like remember we talk about all the shooting, the attempted murders, then you have like the, my my old cases with like the thing with the 13 year old girl that everybody knows yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have everything that. It's like shit. If I, if anybody if anybody lived that, I feel like somebody would have killed themselves by now. You know what I'm saying? With the with all the controversy, the news, the media, Trauma. this it's yeah. fucking mind blowing. So I just people don't know my story. Like I was a delivery boy. I, I fucking cleaned tables. I did it all. You know what I'm trying to say? So fucking to do that to be here now is just like like God is real. Like you know what I'm trying to say? So. At, at that point, after this rap shit, I would like to, you know, buy a home somewhere where tax don't fuck me in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, besides the house. Yeah. Talk to me about your assets. Because I see, uh, I see, I see. I see cars? Yeah, I mean, you got a shitload yeah, we, of cars. We have like three million, two million dollars in cars. And, and, and what's the Richard, that's a Richard Millie? Oh, yeah, this uh, is fucking like a million dollars. That's, that's crazy. That shit looks heavy like, as like fuck. Floyd got this shit. Only Floyd. Would you mind letting Logan hold that for a couple weeks? Uh, yeah, yeah. He could, he could afford it, so I'm going to let him. Hey, it's crazy. This, Pay this is crazy. This is crazy. Are you worried about your assets depreciating? No, why would I? Because they depreciate like crazy. Cars. Crazy. Cars. cars. Watches don't. Well, you have, no, no, no. You, watch, watch, like, watches I don't feel don't. like that, diamonds don't. Nah. I feel like cars do because like I got the Aventador SVJ. Cars, cars do. Even even that might because of, because of the diamonds. Yo, Logan, stop hating, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> What are you talking about? He's trying to buy it from me. He's like, nah, nah, bro. I wouldn't give you money. I'm just hitting you 250 for it. It's depreciating right now. 150 right now. Businessman. 
<laughs> How much you want for it? <laughs> I'm just saying. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, because I, I, the, one of your first videos back, I saw on your Instagram, you had like fucking, uh, what, $2 million worth of cars in the driveway. And, yeah, and I know. That, that, wasn't, that wasn't even all my car, like like all my cars. Like we just got the, that, I think in that video, babe, what was it? Like the Aventador SVJ, the Wraith, <laughs> the McLaren. Do you ever do this? Where's um, my keys? <laughs> no, <laughs> McLaren, what else? What else we had there, babe? The G-Wagon, the Range. Oh, we just bought the uh, McLaren uh, 720. Was it 720? You, like don't, that e- you don't even shit? remember? No, he, he don't. He, he's, no. he just knows I, he has a lot yo, of fucking guns. Literally, I swear to God, when I first came home, when I first came home, like before I even made myself public on the internet, I'm in the house and I'm just like, all right, what car do I want? And I'm just like buying million dollar cars. Yeah, I remember, right when you And got I'm out. just like, yo, like, I right, like... Bring me it. And they're like, all right. And I'm like, today, knowing that I can't even step out the house and drive it. I don't even have a license. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, fucking um, deliver it now. And then they're just like, all right, bro. Like, it's Corona. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, <laughs> and I'm just like, get it here. You know what I'm trying to say? Bro, um, bro, I read somewhere. I read somewhere that you uh, you got moved in jail because of your but, asthma. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. No, no. They, so what they, happened? They, you, no, I got like go. I got, I got... Um, Wait, I'm not even done with my jewelry, bro. Like, let me talk about my jewelry. <laughs> What's good? No, listen. How much you want for the watch? No, listen. All right. I'll t- like, if you're paying cash, I'll give you this shit for a million. It's all about taxes with this guy. <laughs> He's like, yo, you pay me cash. I don't have to write that shit off. He's like, slide it over underneath the table. Nah, yo, don't get the you, camera on did it. Did you see my shark chain? I did. That's like half a million, right? Yeah. That yeah, that's hard. crazy. Okay, so... Right, let's talk about I the hate asthma. to be the let's guy. Talk the let's talk about that asthma. Right, so no, but fucking... did you? So coronavirus came around, and did, did you? No, was also, that a loophole? No, uh, to get moved? No, bro. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> what do you? Why, we have cameras yeah, like, what rolling, the fuck Logan. Are you about, bro? What, what are you supposed to do? Yes, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> let's no, just go no. back to the assets. No, 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 Is that no. not a valid fucking question? <laughs> not like, on yo, record. Yo. <laughs> Oh, no, no, yes. no, 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 you don't got to say anything. No, for real, no. no. Just wink. You, <laughs> just go. <laughs> you did it. You did it. We got him. We're out. We got bro, him. This is what I'm <laughs> no, that was real cool. <laughs> this is what, no, this is what I'm saying, bro. We got him, bro. No, listen. Yeah, that was. I caught bronchitis in jail, for real. Real shit. I, I kid you not. I swear to God. <laughs> Yo, you put Rachel, my line? No, look, they took me to the hospital and they said, yo, your, your lungs are free, full with mucus. So that was around October 29th or no, October 30th or November 1st, some shit like that. They took me to the hospital and said, you have mucus in your lungs. I caught bronchitis once and I caught asthma attack twice. When coronavirus came around, every said it was a it was a it was a a, a respiratory disease, like like a, a Trouble breathing sure. and shit like that. Yeah. So I filed the motion with the court saying, listen, I suffer from, 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 you know, like I, I caught bronchitis while being incarcerated and I have bad asthma. You know what I'm saying? So like, do I remember the fucking, um, the asthma pump chain? Like I really have asthma. So I said, fucking, I wrote to the judge and I'm saying, listen, I have four months left of my sentence. I'd rather do it from home incarceration. And he approved it. Like he said, yo, if I would have knew there would be a global pandemic, I would have sent you home with the last four months being home incarceration. And he approved it and I went home. Mm-hmm. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. So and when, then I went platinum from house arrest. <laughs> <laughs> you, shot, you, you shot the music videos uh, in your garage? No, in like the living room. Like I in the living room? I literally moved all my mom's furniture and I put car wrap. The car wrap, the same car wrap I wrap my cars. The, rain, the Wait, rainbow, you, right? Yeah, I put I put the like car wrap on the wall. This is at your mom's house? Yeah. Because that's where you went yeah, to yeah. After, I, after jail? I, I, yeah, I put car wrap on the I walls. I say cap. I'm calling Cap. You know why? Because you were making IG videos sprinting, saying you're the fastest. (laughs) Never once you're like, I'm the I'm the fastest here. I dare suck. Little Dirk, where you at? Cap. Cap lie. We got him. I already got him. (laughs) When the camera goes off, I hit the asthma pump. That's what they don't see. Right, right. right. We got it. We got it. Okay. Hey, that's crazy. That's so, crazy. Yeah, no, that, it's just like the, my life is a movie. That's why I want to get into fucking uh, like like a like a a documentary. But documentary. they should be here. They should be here now, uh, ideally, right? Like these these people. No, we ha- they, we we have um like a- a- everywhere. They should. No, be f- I didn't approve of their their. They're doing it on their own. 
Well, good fucking luck. If they don't have your testimony. Yeah, it's not credible. But that's also a thing they can get at the very last. Uh, yo, yo, put it like this. You know who, uh, you know who they're interviewing. They're interviewing people who cut my hair when I was like six. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're like, this is not the yeah. six nine we knew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he had no color in hair, yeah. not one. I cut it. I saw it. And like no color. Danny, like, Danny was a sweet no, boy. Exactly. <laughs> like this guy, this guy that they interviewed probably cut my hair once. You know what I'm trying to say? And yeah. it was like I knew him. Like wait, like Ron Howard, like. The Ron fucking Howard. Yes. Well, that ain't a fucking bad look to have him be doing a documentary. Yeah, but yo, but if you don't have credible, if you don't have him involved, so do they not want him involved? Why don't they get him involved? They do, but what? Like, it doesn't make sense. So imagine doing something for 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 like two million dollars, right? Right. Compared to something that you can make hundreds of million dollars on if you do it. Does money dictate everything you do? Fuck yes! What okay. the fuck? Okay. You're not here okay. car selection. No, 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 no. I want to make. I want to make sure because because. No, you, put it like this. Put it like yeah, this. Yeah. It's your life, right? right? Everybody who's around me every day, right? Like a like a Sam, a Murph, right? Rachel, who's been with me during dawn, right? That's been with me during like process of editing, process through incarceration, process through just things that nobody sees. Imagine I work on a docu series of my own, and I have credible people who's been around me all of fucking course, days. Of course, it's gonna be way better. It. Of course, and it's way more truthful, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's not a false narrative where someone could say, "Yeah, well, he was gay when he was 11." You know what I'm trying to say? And yeah. just making up a false narrative, right? Where that was a pretty left field scenario. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, why was that at the top of your head? <laughs> what hairstylist were you going to? <laughs> just at 11 years old. Just yeah. for one year. Just 11 years old. I was <laughs> curious. <laughs> I got this it out of my system. This guy had an asthma I just got lost in the mix. <laughs> he was my barber. <laughs> it just kind of happened. Just got, it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I could just see him watching the dogs. Cap. No. <laughs> cap. No, cap. Cap. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, but but this yo, that's funny. You should keep him around. This yeah. is his first. Yo, this is. I agree. This is, this is my first. This podcast. is his first show. Yo, Danny, this is his first show. He replaced yeah. replacing someone else who's out on sick leave today. Maybe you should get his. He's job. not sick. Oh. He's not. The guy in Connecticut the fans, talking about New York. The fans will want that. The fans yeah. will want that. Trust me, they want it, bro. They Ooh. want it. Yo, but but question for you. Like, do you feel like? Do you ever feel like if you put money first? All the time, you might be jeopardizing true happiness. Like, do you ever feel like that? Hell yeah. <coughs> do you need your inhaler? No, no, it's fine. Right. <laughs> so I definitely don't got Corona. I definitely don't got it because I smell everything. So, like, what the fuck does that mean? Are we good? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy I'm on this side. We lit bro. a candle. We lit it to four candles before you came here. This what the be- fuck was the question just now? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you worry that if you always prioritize money? Oh, yeah, money, yeah, no, might, no. Yeah. I tell this to my, my people all the time. I said, yo, believe it or not, I was happier when I was broke. I don't want to go back broke. We, we just about, yeah. said this two we episodes just, no, ago. And, I just said, I said, and, and this is all honesty. Like, you don't know the, the, like, the happiness of just getting on the train. Like, I love taking the train. Like, yeah. I don't know what it is. It just makes you feel normal. Right. Metro North type shit. <laughs> no, that's Connecticut shit. <laughs> like, <you're so> <laughs> <laughs> Bro, get what is it? You took out the cell phone. That nigga said the Metro oh, North. Oh you ain't God. from New York. No, you're no listen, guys. Yeah, I love their $5 <laughs> foot longs. No. <laughs> let me but just, let me just enjoy what I remember yeah. too, all right? I'm enjoying it with you. You know, yeah. <laughs> you even from Connecticut? No, he's not from No, I'm from Connecticut. What what train what number train were you on? Nah, uh, fucking um, not every train. Like I fucking used to take go to school, just go to friends' house. Yeah, like, yeah. but it's just the fact that, like, being able like to walk the streets and nobody's like yo six nine like mm. you know what I'm just saying or like taking a train or going to like a movie theater or just um being able to like just do regular shit like you know what I'm saying like just chill on a block. And not having to just be like, yo, like somebody's gonna notice me or some shit. Like somebody's gonna be like, oh shit, that's six nine, or you know, just be normal. It's it's like more of a like, <clears throat> like 
my best friend, right? I don't want to say his name because he doesn't want to be named, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so, so we're friends. Just don't tell. Yeah, anybody. just don't tell nobody. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> no, I swear to God. Yo, 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 yo. He's yeah. tapping you up like you got yeah. Corona. He's like, yeah. yo, what's up, guy? <laughs> yo, one day I got mad at him, right? And he's gonna watch this. Hopefully, he's gonna watch it, right? And he's he goes like, I, no. One day he gets mad, at, like we're mad at each other, and I'm telling like. My girl, I'm like, yo, I'm about to just tell this nigga. I'm about to post him, post him on my story, like his face, his Instagram, and be like, yo, this is my best friend, Tribe <laughs> Drew. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? But I know he would have killed himself, so I just said, chill. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, he's probably not gonna try to get on my nerves <laughs> after watching this, like, yo, knowing my intentions. But at the end of the day, it's just shit like that that. That you want to be normal because money actually makes you more angry. Like the more money you make, the more you want anxious. No, you get. no, the more problems and the more like more money, more problems. Yeah, yeah. no, and real shit, no, real for shit. Real, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for like sure. when you don't have that money, you get that hunger and you just get that happiness. That's like <clears throat> I wanna, I want, I want to better myself. But once you reach that certain level, like I'm the type of person that just want to keep going up. Sure. But how far can I go up? Like, I don't want to, like, I ain't trying to be in the class. Like, I'm, I ain't trying to die. You know what I'm trying to say? So I'm just. You're on the wrong like track then, man. You just, you really be saying some crazy shit. That you re- Who's your publicist? I have none. Dude, dude, I was going to say, you, there's no way. There's no you just, way you got a publicist. You just, you just said you don't want to die. I, we could go through your IG posts in the past 20 days. Says otherwise. <laughs> no, but yeah, so I, I feel like um, I was happier when I was broke, but I don't want to go back broke. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. No, of course. It's because yeah, it's people you want to take care of. Man. It make, it make, I think you have responsibilities now. Yeah, and of you course. also, you also now you get so used to uh, all the all the like s- s- stimulation of all mm. the shit that happens. Now the only thing that would, what would stimulate you nowadays? You I don't know, know what, what stimulate means. <laughs> <laughs> what would get your dick uh, hard? What would get your dick hard now? Peak your, your interest. Yeah. get you excited. Um, being on the front like, cover of like, like a Spotify private, or like music. a private jet ain't Apple. gonna do it. A new McLaren ain't gonna do it. Yeah. So what are you getting back excited in, about? Ba- back in the day, you would I, be excited no, 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 just no. chilling right. on the block. Well, I guess my dick hard like now is like literally fucking creating. Like that's my my mm. shit. Like I love creating. Like yeah. I love creating like new music with you know with with the guy. You know what I'm trying to say? And um, <clears throat> videos. Um, I love doing that. And I just love creating content. Like, not only am, like, am I consider myself a rapper, but I consider myself like an entertainer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love, I love f- like comedy. Like, I love jokes. I love being funny. I love doing that. Would you that. ever make a vlog channel on YouTube? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Why not? Don't, Why do not? don't do it. Don't do it. Nah. Don't do it. No competition. Nah, don't, do it. Nah. don't do it. Don't, do it. don't nah. enter my I realm. That, I don't want that smoke. Nah. No, imagine. Bro, Fuck you, Logan. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no clickbait. <laughs> bro, uh, I think that life of normalcy, I think it's gone forever. I think it was gone forever when you put the 6 9 on your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was over by then. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? That's a commitment. Try selling a car that Honestly, way. <laughs> how did you? How, <laughs> I can't. When, that was definitely a commitment. Yeah, how'd you commit to that? I mean, I that's, have no idea. Literally, <laughs> I swear to God, I put this on everything I love. The four, like, I have $40 and I said, what could I get with this? And they said it was a jigsaw. So I fucking did the jigsaw. Is it on this side or this side? That, 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 this side. side. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Like, that's that's how crazy. you know you look at yourself on Instagram when you thought it was on yeah. that side yeah. of your face. <laughs> Mirrored reflection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking selfies. So um, it was just a point where I knew when I tatted my face, I'm like, this is... There's no going back. There's no going no, back. No, that's the point of no return. Yeah. But it's all over your body too. Like you worried that you're going to be like, ooh. When you're 69, do you think that you'll peak then? If I'll peak then? Yeah, when you're 69 years old. You just said- Like, will you drop wanna, another album? It just morphs. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, when I'm 69. Bro, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm like choking. Can we get a, can we get a, can we get a test? Like a Did you swallow the fish? Some shit. <laughs> that was how you guys are making me laugh, and I'm like out of breath. 
Um, You've been screaming for an hour. I don't think it's us. You guys got me angry in the beginning of this shit. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, I thought you start to about, start to sing about the chicken spot, I'm about to bro. Fucking <laughs> more. No, um, nah, bro. I mean, I think I, I hopefully I make it to sixty nine. You know what I'm trying to say? You you didn't even think I make it to thirty. No, like, I was asking. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't saying for sure. I was just asking. So fucking. Um, <laughs> hopefully I make it. to Well, 69. yo, if it, again, like when we were all at the point where we were unsure if you were gonna make it out of. Uh, Jail, jail or not? We yeah, thought for sure, for sure, you'd get, get out at what, like, like sixty eight, sixty nine years yeah, old. Yeah, no. When I'm when I when I got hit with the forty seven years, I was twenty two. Forty seven years. Just, oh, that's right. Let's do simple math. Yeah, let's do sixty nine. Let's do simple yeah. math. There might have been a play there, man. That would have been, been a legacy. That's a sick mark. If I came home, I, yeah, at fuck 69 no. Sixty nine years old, drop the album, bro. Yeah, uh, that's fire. You guys would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Not me. No way. I got I got a question because I have zero street cred at all, like zero. I come from Scottsdale, Arizona, and so a lot of people watching this are probably Connecticut guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, what what was the what was the feeling? Because like I, you always watch movies, I feel like your life's a movie. Yeah. I I just got asked before I leave. What was the feeling? The two feelings that you had the first night when you got locked up, mm -hmm. and the last night you got locked up. Like what? What are like? What's what? the sensation? First night I got locked up, and the last night I got yeah, locked like up. Yeah, like what was the, like when you laid in bed and you were thinking like, "Fuck, the, this, this I is could real. be here for a minute. Yeah, I could be real. here for a minute." And then the, uh, and then the other one is like, "Fuck, tomorrow I'm not going to be here." Wait, all right, what what the fuck? All so, right, so first night you get to jail, what'd that feel like? When you're like, "Yo, shit, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be well, locked up." I got locked up at six o'clock, right? Right, you. I got locked up at six o'clock that night. I watched the movie on like a Fed phone. Like they gave me like. <laughs> You got some jail What is a yeah. Fed phone? Not like they, they gave me like an iPad or whatever and they said just lay on the rug like and watch a movie. I watched Long Survivor. Oh, great fucking movie. I great. This is where you gotta ask the great questions. No, it's a great question. It's a good George, question. I know how to yeah, George, yeah, yeah. if you're where vying you find for the, this guy. He, he's Logan's one of Logan's best friends. If you're LA vying, Fitness. <laughs> LA Fitness, LA Fitness. And he, came, to he came up to me and started doing this shit the same shit he's doing yeah, to you yeah. and, and trust me he'll convince you to give him his number by the end of this he's gonna trick you into a friendship five years later he's gonna be on your podcast trust me don't go down this rabbit, rabbit hole I've been, I've been doing it you, have, you should give me your number you I do he's literally gonna go home and say babe I did great I did yeah. great. <laughs> they're gonna have me again He's crushing it, dude. He really is. He's, he's texting her right now. No, nah, no, nah, you're going to shit your pants because right I go, hey, she goes, should I come? I go, nah, chill. I'm nervous. Pray for me, though. <laughs> she prayed. She must have I prayed. I crushed bro. that. No, you're doing great, you're George. You're doing great, Georgie. So we should make a, a song job. together. Flip your hat to the back. You're on the roll. Flip your hat to the back. Oh, no, this is my own brand. See, I'm smart with my marketing. Oh, oh. smart. Oh. I flip it back to okay, the front. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh. No, but yeah, no, first night... I got locked up. I watched Lone Survivor, and I was like, "Definitely, I'm definitely snitching, right?" <laughs> and then, and then, no, seriously. I'm so from the jump, no, from, yeah, the jump, from the jump, you like, laid down and you were stuffing your pillow. You're like, "Nah, it ain't gonna be long." <laughs> <laughs> and then last night, the last night when um, <laughs> the guy wants to give you a charger for the yeah. iPad, you're like, "Nah, I don't need it." <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be done so in you're at 69 percent. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got a live studio audience over here. <laughs> I'll be here all day. I can't wait to tell my girlfriend. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Danny, we've been trying to get him to do stand up. He won't do it. He, he's got to, this guy. He's got to do stand up. Yeah, bro. I was thinking about, like, I swear to God, I thought about this. Who, did, Richard, I tell you, I said, yo, I might do stand up before all my shows, but I don't want to get booed off the stage. Like, I was thinking about just going up there and trying try to do stand up. What the fuck? Try if there, yo <laughs> yo on. hey nobody gonna be sitting in the front row you're gonna be roasting everybody in the front row <laughs> no but um, last night I was just like uh, I'm trying to think about how that night went no that night I was like fuck like you know what I'm trying to say I I'm not I, like I was just like fuck like I'm like I, I cause I just got back from um, arraignment and I'm like all I heard was murder murder and I'm just like damn like fuck like that was that and then. It was just like, after that, it was just like, all right, fuck it. You know, get through this and shit. So, it was do like any, a, Did you do anything in there to get through it? You're like, I could see you like meditate. You do some meditation, some yoga, no, shit no. like that. Re reading? <laughs> no, I was just Art? spend, I spend the, most Painting? of the time on the phone. Just oh, they, give, the they phone. give you a phone? Did you get uh Special like celebrity privilege? privileges? No, 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 not, not at all. So, so did got, the inmates fuck with you? No, like, they, like no, like they were all like older, like 60, 50. So it's not true what they say. You get like, 
the shit kicked out of you, go to prison. No, I was in a you, you jail full of rats. Everybody was snitches. Like the jail oh. was in, everybody snitched. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a, it was like a rat jail. <laughs> a rat jail. Oh, right. A rat jail. Yeah. We got like Popeyes and shit like that. No, seriously. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I swear. It's so bad. Was it hard to make friends with them so knowing bad. what they did to get there? You're like, no, 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 fuck that. He'll tell on me. I'm no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, fucking. Um, no, nah, it was like, like I said, most of the time I just spent it on the phone. With spent who? Like Talking 30, to who? Like Lori Rachel. Your girl? No, nah, I spent like 11 oh, hours on the she, phone. she a real one. Is it a smartphone she, or was it like a Motorola? No, it was like, like one of them, like. Oh, like, oh, oh. Oh, shit. A rotary with phone the, with, with a the cord? One, the one like, where you spin the dial? No, bro. The same <laughs> wait, fucking... Wait, 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 like, with the mirror? With, I mean, with the, you see her and you're like, I miss you. <laughs> that, like a cannon that string? That too, but... If this shit wasn't being recorded right now, I'm fuck, I'm nah, sucking it, 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 no, it didn't go down like that, like, to be honest. Like, nothing like that. <laughs> where were you Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Where were you? Bullshit. Hey, did, okay, did, did you did y'all fuck in prison? Nah, nah. It Bullshit. Was, nah, yo, bro, I tell you. You wouldn't, believe, believe, you wouldn't believe me if the shit I told you we did. Like, So why don't you tell me? Because I can't. Like, <laughs> why? why? You are, you you can't, they Logan, dropped the charges. They dropped the charges. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. No, there's a, there's a what's it, statue of limitations? Statue? He ain't at it yet. Oh. <laughs> he ain't at it yet. He's out for like a couple months. No. But wait, you didn't get conjugal visits, right? No, no, not at all. Right, bro, I, got like, yo, I got like two contact visits my whole jail prison, like my whole prison bid. Right, like I, just I'm two gonna times. ask, man, how'd you not? In the shower? What the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> is, <laughs> no, no. Hey, is it true? Like, when you drop the soap, are you like, fuck it? No, I don't need it. No, yo, to be honest, I thought like it was gonna be a shower, like, and everybody shower. But when I first got the jail, remember, I was like in like, like I was in like rat like, jail, like rat you had jail. a jacuzzi. But no, I was in a rat jail, but it was protective custody jail, like like protective custody unit. Like it was uh -huh. on like older guys in my, sure. in my in my in my pod, and then like the jails were like covered off, like it was pri so you privacy. Don't, you don't have you don't have one crazy ass jail no, story that like you that you can no. tell that didn't involve. So you, you had like liquid girl. soap and shit. You had the whole nine. Yeah, like you buy your own soap from commissary, commissary. and it's like it's, who's putting commissary in your in your account? Myself. Like, they, the fuck? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> did you forget he was rich? Yeah, like, yeah but that doesn't <laughs> trans But in, in rat jail, does that transfer no, like, directly? I, you got like a Bank of America no, like, inside. No, the no, no, no. You got no, but ATM? you can actually have like like you set your pin as like a machine, right? And then I would just call my business manager, and I'm like, yo, fucking... Wire 100 grand. Wire. <laughs> no, no, it was like a hundred dollars every day because I didn't trust. All right, so there was this one guy, right? That his like mom send them like five thousand yeah. dollars, and then like remember you have to money order that check like that thing, and like the CEOs would be like, oh we didn't know where it was at, like we didn't we didn't find it, so like I never trusted doing like oh, large. It was just uh, disappeared. It was so I, I yeah. they use what app did you use, Sam? <laughs> Cash app. Access correction. Like, Does he like, change yeah. his voice wait, 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 when he talks? Wait, <laughs> that's your money manager. <laughs> no, wait, no, no, what? He really, he really talks like, like this, but the mask. Like sending money and stuff. Like oh that. man, and what he, he was like, yeah, I talked to my money manager. <laughs> then he asked him, and I was like, yo, your money manager's jacked. <laughs> <laughs> he can manage your money and a guy in a headlock at the same time. <laughs> no, but but yeah, so it was just like that. Yo, bro, it wasn't as bad. Like. Remember, I'm a fucking rat. So, like, they're not going to put me in, like... Rikers a, 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 or some a, a, shit. No, Rikers is state. I'm in federal, federal prison. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. federal jail. Yeah. So, like, they, they weren't going to put me in, like, an MDC or MCC. Like, they put me in, like, a protective custody jail. What are you eating? Do they, do they even have, like, mafungo and all that shit no, there? Fuck no, fuck no. They have, like... Like, it's pretty good, though. Burritos. Like, seasoned food. Like Bro, they, this... <laughs> Yo, how this, do I get this, locked yeah, up? Yeah, this is crazy. How is is that the same jail like Epstein went to? Like no, you, just, you get Epstein, the bounce no, and Epstein, shit. No, like no, whenever Ep you want. Epstein was in MCC where he died at. Like, but yeah. that's like a bad jail. Like that's like. Do you think Epstein? Who, who killed do you think himself? got him? Who do you think got Epstein? Did he do it? I'm definitely not speaking on Epstein <laughs> after. <laughs> Like, I'm Come not on, trying. bro. The Just only thing we want to know is I, I what six nine you, thinks no, about the FCC. No, you have an opinion. You gotta tell no, us. I, I don't want to share cough an opinion. Twice. Yeah. You think it was Billboard? <laughs> <laughs> you think it was Billboard? <laughs> it was definitely Billboard. No, but literally, like, no, these, like, these, like, like that jail Epstein was in, like, was bad. Like, it's like, f like, f ironic, rat infested. It's like not rats, like no, not like real me, rats, but like real rats. <laughs> <laughs> so like, like just walk out. Yeah. Who man? She yeah. man? Yeah, there he is, right no. there. So it's very ramp. It had mold. It, it was. It's a bad prison. Like cell phones, drugs, whole bunch of shit. Like whole bunch of shit going on right. in there. So I don't even know why they put him in there because it was just like if you're from New York, 
you will know. Like, you know what I'm well, wait, 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 why? Because it, cause it, cause, cause it wasn't, because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't. No, it's like the Rikers Island for federal jail. Remember, federal and state, it's two different. What's, what was his joint called? <clears throat> his his federal spot, Manhattan Correctional Center. Okay, it's like fed, a federal holding for like pre-trial cases. Before you go to like the, but it's <clears throat> it's like the Rikers Island for the feds. Right. Yeah. 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 It's not. It's, I, I don't know why they house him there. Well, like. The well, stuff that well, yeah, because yeah. fuck that guy, right? Yeah. Like, well, he's had slid by and escaped. Well, no, conviction so many times. I bet they were just fed up with the shit. Well, it's probably also the no, only no, place no, they no. could get that, to that's him. The or only, some shit. Yeah, that's you know the only place. Oh, yeah. oh. So what you're saying is there is a conspiracy to kill him? Nah, I didn't say that. He did. Call, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, he fuck. did. He did go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, hmm. yeah. If this podcast gets shuts down, that's the guy. I asked the hard questions, bro. I asked the hard questions, yo. I just got back from uh, Mexico this morning. <laughs> when's the last time you? When's, <laughs> when's the last time you? Why is that uh, funny? Yo, <laughs> he's telling the truth though. That's no, like I'm serious. Hilarious. Yeah, I'm dead serious. Like, well, you had a today, hold on, hold on. Well, you had a birthday party? Nah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, well, uh-huh. actually, wait. Yeah, technically, I was for my girl, but not like a party though. Just me and her. Okay, okay. Well, no. He's like, yeah, I was invited to that too. No, 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 <laughs> definitely not. No fucking. Um, yeah, no, last time I've been to Mexico was in 2018. That's what I was going to ask you. August, yeah. Because yeah. you got a rich Mexican heritage, right? Yeah, yeah. What? What's, what? I don't know. No, You're a proud no, Mexican, no, right? No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm from That's what I'm Mexican saying. descent. But yeah. um, no, I can't, like, I technically can't leave the country, like, that, the states, like, I think till next year. Well, good news is no one else can Yeah, either. no one can either, right? No, well, you can go to Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> they're like, Mexico. They let the kid from Mexico. Connecticut go to fucking Mexico. Yeah, yeah. I can't even go to Mexico. Yeah, so is that, fucking... As soon as the time's good, are you going to straight, like, shoot Yeah, that? like, I'm excited for tours. Like, I, I, I'm getting a lot of, like, festivals and bookings, like, in Europe. So I'm definitely looking forward to that because, like... Oh, one thing that gets my dick hard is fucking performing. Like, I love uh, that shit, yeah. too, so... Does that... Will that scare you now, being on stage in front of... Bro, you? no, like... No, like I, I, that's like my home. Like when I'm on stage, I feel like, like yeah, but like the the risk the, like has Pokemon gone when it evolves to like the final form. Don't start, don't start on the Pokemon. Did you say Pokemon? Don't fucking do it, Danny. <laughs> Did you say Pokemon? No, no. You just opened up a box. Nah, we didn't. Nah, not yet. There's a poke. Did you show him your tattoo? He showed you yours. Show him yours. Nah, I'm not gonna. It's good. It's next to my dick. It just feels. He, dude, nah, you just I, talk- definitely don't show that. <laughs> just feels. Is that like a have you not watched his? Uh, doc? Is it Squirtle? Show? It's a Squirtle. Yeah. It's a Squirtle. It's Squirtle. It's a Squirtle. Yeah. Why would you put Squirtle next to your dick? Yeah. Are it's you like a judging on another man's tattoo. That's kind of fucked up. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, what are you, what are you doing? About my fucking six nine on my head. Six nine on your forehead. Yeah, but you have Squirtle six nine. I'd rather have. Yo, congratulations. Six nine says your tattoo sucks. Shut the fuck up. Wow. Can we get lights for that shit? That's fucking crazy. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> like, he, bro, he's looking at me in the eye. He goes, he goes, you got a squirtle tattoo next to your dick? That's crazy. I'm like, me? We had over an hour conversation of why do you do that? Why do you do that? And he's like, why? Uh, what the fuck? I wouldn't even do that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. Wait, what were we talking about before that? Um, Mexico. 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 I was gonna. I was gonna. But say yeah, I, I, like, I, if I do go, it'll probably be sometime 2021. Yeah, I guess. I guess just like the, the obviously the risk anywhere you go, anything you do right now is higher, especially on stage like that. Uh, I don't. Th- I think people like over, like overreact. Like you guys like. Like the audience is like, remember when you say, "Oh, he's not gonna be able to sign. He's not gonna be able to go here. He's not going like me seeing it firsthand. It's not as bad as people make it seem. It just it just takes that one time. That one time. That one time. <laughs> no, yeah, obviously, but I, obviously, imagine living life like that. Imagine living life like, yeah. Oh my God, like I have to continue to live my life. I just can't stop and say, "Yo." It's gonna happen. Like I just have to live. If whatever happened, God has it written that it happens. You know what I'm saying? Has everything that's happened to you? Have you been struck with any uh, bout of humility at all? Yeah, fuck yeah. After after the uh, the trial and after you got out of jail yeah. and mm-hmm. so, <clears throat> when do you plan on? When do you plan on <laughs> exercising humility? <laughs> He's like, I know about it. <laughs> I just. Well, 
I feel like you're forcing me to change. Like, it's no, like, no, I'm just curious. When the I'm fuck just, are you gonna change? I'm just, I'm just curious. Hey, yeah. listen, I'm just curious because because what you're doing right now it's is is working. It's obviously working, and I guess we, we kind of already talked about it. But there, as long as you keep making good music, which we all know you can do, it's pretty hard to. It's no matter how much you hate six nine, your shit's still gonna pop up on the radio. Your shit's gonna play on the Spotify charts. So as long as you keep making good music. You know, yeah. Like, I, like I said, I'm like, my goal when I wake up every day is not to say, "Yo, I need to change these people's opinions on me." Sure. My goal is to continue to be happy. You know what I'm trying to say? Again, I don't want to wake up every day having work feel like work. You know what I'm trying to say? Hell yeah. I want work to feel like fun. Yeah. And once you lose that, people tend to just be depressed and unhappy. <laughs> Once this starts to feel like it's a job, I don't want to do it anymore because it's like, I don't want to go to work. You know what I'm trying to say? I didn't want to go to work when I was bussing tables. So imagine if this feels like bussing tables. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to, and sometimes it feels like that. Um, And I just got to just stick to, to, stick to what makes me me. And it's me as being the polarizing character that I am. You know what I'm trying to say? Do you, do you regret anything that you did? Anything. Mm. No. Not, not, a, single not a single thing you no, changed? No, because it doesn't, it, it it wouldn't make me into who I am today. You know what I'm trying to say? It wouldn't make, no, of course, all right, let me, probably mm. different different words. Yeah. I do regret a lot of stuff. I regret things would be differently, but I'm not mad at the way things went because it made me into the person I am today. Sure. You know what, what, what they said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? I feel like everything that I went through like, I had this whole theory. No, nah, I can't say it, I can't say it. But I had this whole fucking thing where He's I'm like, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't say it. Cause like, um, it involves Epstein. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. No, I'm not going to say it. My barber <laughs> when I was 11. No, so it's like, it's like, it's a point where it's like, I, I'm happy with um, where I'm at and the things I've learned and the lessons I've learned. And um, I'm just continuing to go forward with, you know, with my career. Sure, sure. Damn. Now I kind of want him to change because I like. I wanted you to come on and make me like you, and like you're a likable fucking dude, and uh-huh. you're a great fucking marketer. Mm-hmm. So I don't want you to die. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? If that if that makes sense, I'd love for you to I'd love for you to figure it out so you could have that that long ass life and make it to 69. Yeah, you know? I'll drop an album at that age. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like a lot of celebrities you meet in real life, and they're just people yeah. you know they're, they're yeah, just yeah. people like you talk about being unhappy yeah. you talk about being happy and it's it's so many people uh forget that you still have these emotions let me ask you a question sure. were you happier like when was the happiest moment of your life <laughs> be honest though yeah like, i know your probably girlfriend is watching this shit it's like you better stay when <laughs> you have the first there. time she told me she loved me <laughs> <laughs> I, i'll tell we you we were what. riding horses <laughs> next question <laughs> <laughs> nah uh i it's so it's hard he goes, nah. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. She's like She's mad. dogging you down right now. Like, say, hey, get it right. Ba- baby. <laughs> baby, I like, oh, last night. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, I don't I don't know. Um, it's so hard to say. I've said this before. My whole life is it's been like a through line of happiness. I've never uh I've never gotten too caught up in the highs or the lows. And so I don't know if I have a, a happiest moment. My whole life is is the the happiness. Yeah, Yo, you know what was one of the happiest moments of my life? I'm going to tell you this, and a lot of people don't know this. Like, the ha- one of the happiest moments of my life was, um, all right, so me and, and this kid, right? The one that doesn't want his name to be mm. out there. <laughs> fucking, we, we flew to we flew to LA and we flew Spirit because it was oh, like our last three hundred. Oh, no, 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 no. It was, it was magical at that time because it was like... <laughs> Um, it was like the last three hundred dollars we had, right? Each, cause we shot a video for like six hundred dollars, and then we was like, "Yo, fucking um, we flew to we we booked a one way on Spirit, right? And we came to LA and we booked a, like a, a a Airbnb by Venice Beach, and um, Chris, you was Steve there when we were in in, in Venice? You guys probably took us back to Venice, right? So this is before this, this is probably um I would say April of 2017. I would say around there, hmm. right? So we're flying 
we're flying. I don't. I really don't want to say this guy's name. Just say we flew out here for an interview. Okay. Please don't say no names. Don't even guess. I don't want this guy. This guy's a fucking prick. Okay. Right? <laughs> Should we so, just use Tommy? Uh, just say Tommy. 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 Perfect. Tommy. Perfect. He Tommy. literally Tommy. just says, don't use a name for an example. Don't use Tommy. It's arbitrary. Right, Tommy. Arbitrary. Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So Tommy, like at this point, I'm not really a no. I'm a nobody. So at this point, we flew out here for an interview and Tommy completely, completely blows us off. So it's me, the, the guy, another guy, and another guy. So it's four guys <laughs> cooped up in a, in a, in a, in a in an Airbnb probably as big as this like triangle and yeah. like cut off, yeah. right? It's this big where the blue goes, right? A little bit more of that. And it's like we're cooped up in this in this thing, but it was just a fact of the like we're nobody, but we're grinding yeah. to be somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're just like there's one bed, one bed, the kitchen, the bathroom. That's all it is. And it's four guys. So two of us slept like on a bed. And then, like, the other guy just slept on the floor, and there was, like, a little mini futon, and they slept there. But that was, like, that guy, all right, so the guy that Tommy denied us the interview, mm -hmm. that's when we met Elliot. So if that guy would have never, den like, like, if that guy, if Tommy would have never denied us the interview, we would have never met the guy who changed my life. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Sure, yeah, yeah. Everything so, happens for a reason. So everything happens for a reason. Yeah. But it was just those adventures with those people that that made me happy. And that te what about the team mentality? Was it because you were with your boys like grinding together? Yeah, and shit? because it was like, yo, all right, we we were like, we were like managing our money. We were like, all right, look, we got a hundred dollars, right? <laughs> we got a hundred dollars. We have a hundred dollars. We have four days here. Every day we spend at no more than twenty five dollars, right? Yeah, and remember, remind you, we have no way back home. They said if this goes bad and like your brother doesn't book us a flight back, right? Because we were at the at the end, we were gonna do some last minute shit. Was like, yo, we stuck in LA, book us a flight back. We'll sleep on the beach on Venice. Like that was the plan, right? <laughs> a lot of people do it. No, but that was that was the fun of it because it was just the fact that you don't have money. You're literally on that adventure with your boys, and then we just so happened to meet the guy who changed our life forever. You, know what you I'm ever. Saying? You ever have an, a moment more exciting than the moment your first song took off, and you said, "Whoa, you know all the all these trips to LA where I don't have a, a an escape route or a plan home. It looks like it's paying off." Finally. No, yeah, fuck yeah, because remember, m me and fucking fuck Red is on the same label, so mm. he was he was supposed to blow up before me, so they were putting all the money into him, and the fact that when Gummo took off, the streets went crazy, like they fell in love with Gummo, and. Like to the label, I became the priority, and they benched Trippy, mm. and they put me ahead, and it just felt so good because he talked so much fucking shit that it just felt good. Like for hearing my song on the radio for the first time, like Funk Flex is huge in New York, so for him to drop bombs on your shit like, psh, 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 yeah. it was like, yo, I made it, yeah. and that was a happy <laughs> moment of my life too. What was uh, what was your I made it moment? Was it that? Where you looked around? Fun flex? Where you no, looked no, around? No, and... it, it, it was definitely... I don't know, because I haven't got, like, hit with a... Yo, I made... Like, yo, Sam, you ever seen me say, like, yo, I, like, I made it? Like, what Like what moment would that be? Like, I, I never had one of those moments was like, yo, I made it. But, bro, you got $5 million in... in and just assets. No, but, but, like at, what, but at what point can no, you admit? No, but it's it's. You were saying how you always want to go up. Yeah, like I, I haven't felt like sure. It, sure. Like, it's not. It's not to say like yo, this is it. But it's 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 you finally give yourself permission to say, whoa, you know, all the hard work that I put in over the years. Finally all right, paid so off probably and, probably the moment it would be the day that that song took off and I heard it on the radio because there's a video on me on YouTube, cheesing mad hard, turning mad red. <laughs> yeah. Would you say you were trippy red or like? No, definitely shit. trippy was red as <laughs> fuck that day. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, yeah. would you ever would you ever box him? Would you ever get in the ring? Like this kid is a big kid. Like that kid needs to get jumped. Like you know what I'm trying to say? He's like, a, how big is he? No, he's a big kid. Like he's fat now, right? Oh, yeah, he last time I seen him, he was probably like 200 pounds. How much you weigh? I'm like two. I'm 200 now, right? Yeah, 
Yo, she I came seems home. Like a no, match made in no but I came home from jail, one hundred and thirty-four pounds. Yeah, what the? What are you? The, please, just stop. <laughs> You've been going out with Murph. Murph, what the fuck Murph. is going on? You've been feeding this. You bringing him out with food god and shit. Your best yeah. friend? Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Murph, bro. Like it's just like, like my lawyer literally sees him, right? My lawyer literally sees him is like, <laughs> tells Murph like, yo, like he's buying him food, yeah. and Murph is like, let me get a burger, and my lawyer's like, I'm, I'm paying for the food. <laughs> If I'm paying, you're not going to eat a burger. Like, at least make it a turkey burger. Right. And then he tries to ask for a Coke, and he's like, no. Like, he knocks it out of his hand. He's like, yeah, but fucking, um, nah, I've just been gaining fucking weight. Like, it's just like, the food in jail is not really fucking, like, they don't put no salt in, like. They got no sodium. Yeah. So when you got out, you were just fucking, everything tastes so good. And, like, I fucking ate Gushers, like. Non-stop. Because uh, I was looking at you rolling around on the ground in a diaper right, on bro, Instagram the other day. <laughs> Making fun of... Uh, what's his fucking... Lil Reese. Yeah, Lil Reese. With a shitty diaper on fucking Instagram. Did I just you see that the, shit got taken did down. Did you see the Reese cups? Did you see yeah, the Reese cups? Amy, that's fucking hilarious. You just <laughs> would you love buy those? fucking Pokemon. No, would you buy those? Bro. Shit flavored fucking Reese's <laughs> No, probably not, dude. I probably just have regular Reese's, bro. <laughs> nah, but yeah, fucking... Um, yeah, bro. So, that's it. All right, big bet. You got a flight to catch, right? You going back to New York mm -hmm. in an hour? Uh, yeah, in flight, 45 minutes. PJ, minutes. All, right, all right, we'll wrap it up. Yo, appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, that, was, that was fucking phenomenal. Can we get a round of applause? That was, that was awesome. Appreciate you, brother. 6 9 everyone. Thank you for listening to this episode of Impulsive. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace.